A distress phone call leads us to Nairobi, South B Estate, where police have reported one of the most brutal murders since the year began. On arrival, we are directed to an apartment within the estate by the name Papino Apartment. The house number is Y32. The house is temporarily locked from the outside, sending a suspicious signal. Detectives gain entry only to encounter a tragic and a disturbing crime scene, a lifeless body of a young woman lying in a pool of blood in the sitting room area. The naked body with bruises all over her stab wound around the thighs. Police say she might have been struggling to exit the house and seek help before breathing her last, just a few centimeters from the main door exit. Alikata vein. Ya kwenda kwa ro, diyo maana ilisababisha eh, kwa ro, diyo maana ilisababisha eh, kifochake cha haraka na atunge mwokoa kwa sababu alikuwa mevuja tamu sana. Investigators and officers from industrial area police station quickly called on off the area as it becomes clear that this is a homicide. But who is responsible for such a horrible murder? A quick review of CCTV footage reveals the woman dressed in a short red dress arrived at the apartment with a man and checked into this house. We further established the house is an Airbnb and the two had rented it for a night out. K24 TV obtained exclusive CCTV footage of what might have transpired before the bizarre killing. A thorough inspection of the bedroom leads to identification of circumstantial evidence, among them a HIV testing kit reading negative, implying the two had tested their HIV status earlier on. As police got wary of the horror-like crime scene, used condoms, victims' clothes, bank, alcohol and a knife believed to be the murder weapon were discovered, as well as blood-stained beddings. The traumatizing scene in the bedroom revealed the two might have had an affair before the killing happened. But what will be the motive? condom. Maybe he's a serial killer. As police continue to gather more evidence and collect possible exhibits, detectives were up to the task trailing the suspect who was on the run. Investigations led us to Mbagadi Hospital within the capital city of Nairobi. We found the suspect here undergoing treatment of a possible stab wound. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It is not yet clear whether the man stabbed himself after killing the woman as a way of misleading investigators upon his arrest or if he was stabbed by the deceased during a scaffold. The arrest of the suspect was a breakthrough for investigators as detectives pondered on the identity of the woman. She was later identified as 24-year-old starlet Wahu Mwangi. Investigations involved seeking to know if the two knew each other prior to the tragic meetup, or this was a hookup that turned into a tragedy. Come, come and tell me yes, the main suspect into the killing has been identified as John Matara and is being detained at the industrial area police station for 21 days to allow investigators unravel what really transpired, leading to the death of Starlet Wahu. Mshukiwa kwa majina anaitwa John Matara, hako na miaka salasini. Na uchunguzi inaendelea, tujue niya yake ilikuwa gani ya kuchukua nyumba na kupeleka mschana na kumtendea kitendo kama icho. An autopsy examination of the disease which took place today at the city mortuary under the watch of Dr. Peter Ndegwa has however confirmed Starlet Wahoo died due to an hemophage injury. This was caused by a penetrating stab wound on the main blood vessel of the right thigh. The disease also had signs of strangulation. Her body has since been preserved at the city mortuary for burial preparations. Na ningetaka apia akuambia wenye wana, wana hizo manyumba za BNB Nairobi. Wachukue... Takabadhi za wenye wanakomboa hizo nyumba 
wajue ni mtu wa wapi ni mtu wa aina gani indeed a sad love story that took a sharp twist ending in a horrible crime of passion franklin wala k24 tv 